and did not our God bring all this evil upon us uh -huh. and upon this city uh -huh. upon yes. this city it was the city that they was in in Jerusalem back then but now we're in Chicago so bringing evil upon the city of Chicago for breaking the Lord's Sabbath day read yet he bring more wrath upon Israel by profaning the Sabbath he telling you why the wrath coming he telling you why the evil and the destruction and the, and the hot uh, incarceration the uh, hot number one in STDs Black on black clubs, uh, single number one single mother household, bring it out, uh, 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 fornication, idolatry, in a manner of all different type of God worshiping. Why? He let you know because we profane in the Lord's Sabbath day, which is today. All people going driving to and fro, it got no cares in the world about keeping the Lord's Sabbath day. Half of them don't even know what the Lord's Sabbath day is. That's right. That's profane in the Lord's Sabbath day. Ask you a question, you and a sister. Uh, do y'all know? Do y'all know what today is? Because we come out here every Saturday. Every Saturday, you'll see us everywhere teaching. You know what today is? The Sabbath day. You, you understand? Today is the Sabbath day. Do you know? Do you know the severity of the Sabbath day of the Lord's day? Right, right. But but the question is, do you know how serious the Lord's Sabbath day is? It's, it's a serious thing. God, God says six days you should work and labor, but on the seventh day is a day of rest. So like you said, it's a lot of things that you're supposed to be doing on the seventh day, but I'm going to show you the severity of the Sabbath day. Give me uh, Nehemiah uh, 13, start at verse 15. Yes, sir. This is one of our forefathers, and what our forefather Nehemiah was doing is what we're doing right here today. Coming out on the Sabbath day, teaching, and showing our people the air and the sins that they in. Read that. Nehemiah chapter 13 verse 15. Uh-huh. In those days saw I in Judah. Uh-huh. Some treading wine presses on the Sabbath. Uh-huh. And bringing in sheaves. Uh-huh. And lading asses. Uh-huh. As also wines, grapes, and figs, and all the manner of burdens. Which they brought into Jerusalem on the Sabbath day. So it said Judah. Read it from the top again. Yes, sir. In those days saw I in Judah. So in those days, Nehemiah said, in those days I saw in Judah. He's standing around seeing the so-called blacks, the so-called African Americans doing what? Read. Some trading wine presses on the Sabbath. Some trading wine presses. Trading the wine press you have to involves working. Read. And they wouldn't just trade the wine presses for free. They trading the wild presses to reap some money to, to get paid, read. And bringing in sheaves. And bringing in sheaves, read. And lading asses. Lading asses, read. And also wine, grapes, and figs, uh -huh. and all manner of burdens. And all manner of burdens, all manner of things the children of Israel was involved to on the Lord's Sabbath day. As you can look around today. All people coming out with bags of from Walgreens, from Subway, from Domino's, to going over here to cash their checks. It's no different from when Nehemiah was saying this back then to what we doing and we saying it right now on the Lord's Sabbath day. They they involved it to all matter of birds, uh 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 guy rolls, Italian beefs, dips, and all this on the Lord's day. You're not supposed to do that on the Lord's day. That's We're right. gonna find out how serious it is. Read. Which they brought into Jerusalem uh -huh. on the Sabbath day. On the Sabbath day, read. And I testified against them in the day wherein they sold victuals. He testified against them. So that means he came out like we coming out to testify against our people and let our people know. You're all supposed to be going to and fro, buying and spinning and doing whatever you want to do on the Lord's day. The Lord's Day is for, for, for you to have a holy convocation, for you to get yourself together, to get away from all manner of wickedness that you was involved in, or that you was around, not involved in, during the six days of the week. That's You're right. around all type of people that's breaking God's commandments that you work with, that you live next door to, down the street from. So on the Lord's Day, you get away from that and come and have a holy convocation around like-minded people who go keep God's commandments. Read. There dwelt man of Tyree also therein. Uh, that's an uh, African nation, man of Tyree, dwelt there in too, read. Which brought fish, 
They brought fish to sell to the children of Israel. As you can see, these other nations got dominoes. All people don't own that dominoes, that subway, or this check cashing place. Most all these restaurants, you may have one or two that's black owned businesses, but majority of the people that's setting up these shops is other nations. Read. And all manner of wear. So that all men of where they brought fish and every possible thing that they knew that the children of Israel would want to purchase. Read. And sold on the Sabbath unto the children of Judah. And sold on the Sabbath to the children of Judah. Read. And in Jerusalem. Uh-huh. Then I contended with the nobles of Judah. So that's what we coming out here to do. We coming out here to contend with our people. We coming out here to contend with them and say, you're not supposed to be buying and selling on the Lord's Sabbath day. That's against God's laws. And God would, and once you see the things that's going on in our community, how jacked up we is, how oppressed we is, it's, it's that big because the Lord will bring wrath upon Israel because we, we uh, defiling the Sabbath day by buying, by spinning, by cooking, by doing our own thing and not doing what God said to do on the Sabbath day. Read. Then I contended with the nobles of Judah uh -huh. and said unto them, what evil thing is this that ye do? He said, what? What evil thing is this that ye do? So he said, what evil thing is this that you do by buying and selling on the Sabbath day? That's evil in the outside of God. So for a person to say, I love God, I believe in God, he's my savior, he's my everything, and you go and you go spend some money on the Lord's day, you go, you go uh, cook on the Lord's day, kindle it fire, the, uh, the Bible, Nehemiah said, that's evil. That's right. That's evil to do, so we got to get away from that. We can't continue breaking the Lord's Sabbath day. He said, what evil thing have you brought on Israel? Read. And profane the Sabbath day. Profaned it. Read. Did not your fathers thus? And did not our God bring all, all this evil upon us? Read that again. Read that again. Slow it down and read it again. Yes, sir. What did your mind say? Did not your fathers thus? And did not our God bring all this evil upon us? Did not our God bring all this evil upon us? That's why you see the, the black on black killing. The, uh, the All people selling drugs to their own people. Hatred for their own people. The young the young man's cussing out the old man. The old man's cussing out the young man's. All in a matter of evil and wickedness. Do you realize all of this just alone is stemming from breaking the Lord's Sabbath day? In our community, we want we wonder why our neighborhood is so jacked up, everybody out of whack. It's because for another simple thing is from breaking the Lord's Sabbath day. Read it again. Did not your fathers thus, uh -huh. and did not our God bring all this evil upon us? Is it not evil upon our people in our communities? It's, it's, it's major evil upon our people in our community. It's, it's getting ridiculous. Shaw rat. That's evil in itself. To name yourself out the third world country that's known for killing is evil in itself. And it said, why? And he said this. He was telling this to the children of Israel for breaking the Lord's Sabbath day. For going out and buying and uh, buying and selling on the Lord's Sabbath day. Read. Did not your fathers thus, and did not our God bring all this evil upon us, uh -huh. and upon this city? Uh-huh. Upon yes. this city. It was the city that they was in in Jerusalem back then, but now we're in Chicago. So bringing evil upon the city of Chicago for breaking the Lord's Sabbath day. Read. Yet ye bring more wrath upon Israel by profaning the Sabbath. He telling you why the wrath coming. He telling you why the evil and the destruction and the and the hot uh, incarceration, the uh, hot number one in STDs, black on black crimes, uh, single number one single mother household, bring it out, uh, 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 fornication, idolatry in a manner of all different type of God worshiping. Why? He let you know because we profane in the Lord's Sabbath day, which is today. All people going, driving to and fro, and got no cares in the world about keeping the Lord's Sabbath day. Half of them don't even know what the Lord's Sabbath day is. That's right. That's profane in the Lord's Sabbath day. Read. <laughs> and it came to pass uh -huh. that when the gates of Jerusalem began to be dark. Okay, so this is going into Friday and start. The sun is starting to set. The Sabbath day is coming upon us. Nehemiah said it was starting, the, the gates is to be shut. Read. To be dark before the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. I commanded that the gates should be shut. They should be shut. This was back then. So now we're just coming out here. Nehemiah commanded them. Shut them, shut them, and shut them now. 
So that'll be like us today. We sit around these stores and say, shut all these stores down. Don't open up not one door. It's the Lord's Sabbath day. Israel ain't bar nothing. Read. I commanded that the gates should be shut uh -huh. and charged that they should not be open till after the Sabbath. Till after the Sabbath. So they can keep the sin in Israel and not, and, 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 believe it or not, we go get that. That's love for your brothers. If we don't come out here and tell our brother, brother, don't go in that store and buy that. Today the Lord's Sabbath day. If I just, if I know that you don't supposed to be buying and selling and I'll let y'all continue on to do it, that's me having hatred for y'all because I know it go against God's laws. I know God had, it's an evil thing in the outside of the Lord. So if I let you do it, that's me having hatred for my people. Read. And some of my servants set I at the gates. That there should be no burden be put in on the Sabbath day. So it shouldn't be no uh, Nick Skyros being sold on the Sabbath day. Should be no Subway Dominoes being sold on the Lord's Sabbath day. This is what Nehemiah was contending with the children of Israel back then. And this is what we are here to do to let our people know we can't just keep going to and fro doing whatever we want to do on the on Lord's Sabbath day. Because God will continue to bring evil judgment upon his children. That's just like a disrespectful child living in the house with their parents. And their parents can say, listen, stop bringing people over my house. Stop letting them eat up all my food. Stop letting them run in and out. Stop disrespecting me. And the child continue and continue to do it. Right. That parent is going to get fiery and, and, the, and eventually will bring wrath upon the child. That's right. It's no different from God in us. Read. Verse 20. Verse 20. Jump down to 21. Verse 21. Then I testified against them uh -huh. and said unto them, Why lodge ye about the wall? If ye do so again, I will lay hands on you. So this is how serious the Lord's Sabbath day is. Just like what you best believe, when, when it comes to Friday, all these stores up and down these that's owned by the Chinese, the Arabs, the white man, all these different stores, you best believe they got everything stocked up ready for Friday to hit. Why? Because they know that they... They, that they brothers and sisters who own companies that paid the children of Israel on Friday. And they finna go cash checks and they finna go get the spinning. So all the shelves gotta be stocked up so they can come in and we can sell them these guy rolls, piece of puffs, uh, dresses, clothes, whatever it is that they want to buy. We gotta make sure we got it so we can get the money from them. Being money contended with them, he said, no, listen, I see y'all coming, setting up and getting all y'all stuff stocked up. Read. This what? Is what if ye do so again, I will lay hands on you. Le Nehemiah said, if you do this again, I will lay hands on you. That's how serious he was about our people not breaking the, uh, the Sabbath day. That's a serious thing in the eyesight of the, uh, God. God himself said he rested on the day when he created everything in the earth. Everything beneath the earth and everything's in the heaven. God created, he rested. But here it is, we are taking upon ourselves this disregard that it still do whatever we want to do. That's disobedient. That's rebellious. That's stiff neck. Give me Hosea 4 and 1. Yes, sir. Because this is why our communities is jacked up. All right? This is why our communities... Hey, you got a flyer? Yeah, I got a flyer. You see the address on the back? 4339 West Division? I got is you. Is we going to see you at the school at some point? I don't know. I won't tell that lie. Okay. <laughs> but I'm listening. Make sure you research it, man, at the bare least. Research it, do the research, watch the videos. There's many videos of us explaining the entire Bible from Genesis to Revelation where you can get more understanding of it. And Lord's will, he convict your spirit where you can come in and you can start congregating with us, brother. That's right. Make sure you call that number if you got any questions. There's a number on the back, too. Appreciate you, guys. Yep. Read. Hosea, you, chapter 4, verse 1. Uh-huh. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. So that's you. What's your name, sister? Joyce. Doors, so that he's talking to you, Doors. He said, hear the words. Read it again. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. You the children of Israel, hear the words, Doors. For the Lord hath a controversy with the, with the inhabitants of the land. The Lord, you know what a controversy is? That's a problem. That means God has a problem with, with us in the land today. Read. Because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land. Because there is no truth. No mercy, no knowledge of God where we dwell at today. There is no knowledge or truth in the city of Chicago. 
Everybody is sweating. They, they, they speaking some true words. They got the knowledge. They kicking some knowledge to you. But according to the Bible, God said that's not so in the city of Chicago. Why? Because our people lack the knowledge of God. They lack the commandments. A lot of, like I said, a lot of our people don't know it's the Sabbath day. A lot of pe our people don't know what they're supposed to be doing on the Lord's Sabbath day. Read. And because of that, what, watch this. What happened? Read. By swearing and lying and killing and stealing mm -hmm. and committing adultery, mm -hmm. they break out and blood touches blood. Who does that sound like? Sis Doris. That's right. That right there, it was just a photo of the Sears Towers downtown, the Scotland downtown, with a whole bunch of black people standing in front of it. Right. That is, that when you read that, that's the photo and the image that you get. Yep. A whole lot of black and Hispanics just standing in the front of the Scotland, sitting there posing like, yeah, y'all talking about me. Read it again. By swearing and lying. By swearing and lying. That's, that's what our people get into. They always swearing on something. I swear to God, I swear on my mama, I swear on my baby, on my dead brother, on my who on who. That's all our people do. They swear all day long. And, and, and by what? By swearing and by lying. And when they swear, the, what come right after that? Lying. The Bible say they lied. They done swore all this and swore all of that. And behind all that swearing was lies. Man, I swear when I get paid, I'm going to take care of you next week. I don't need to worry about it. Then next week come, you looking for the brother, he called, he running away from you. That's what our people get into. The Bible is explaining how our people, the attributes of our people. That's how you know this Bible pertains to us. That's how you know we are the Israelites. Read. And killing. And killing. We love, we have the biggest hatred for each other than other any other nation on the, on the earth. We, uh, we any uh, for the smallest thing, we want to go get a gun or cause harm or pull out a box cutter. And soon as you, soon as you get angry, you just want to uh, 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 re retaliate with death and, and, and anger. We aren't supposed to be doing that, read. And stealing, and stealing, and committing adultery, and committing adultery. They break out, and blood touches blood. That's why we. That's why the number of the murder rate is high. Because it just listed everything before that of why the murder rate is high. Because we swear to each other all the time. We lie to each other all the time. We uh, uh, committing adultery. That means somebody, somebody, uh, either a husband or wife, the stepped outside of their marriage. That's, a, that's enough in itself. A husband find his wife cheat. Now he go kill a woman and a man. That's why I say blood touches blood because of all these things that our people is involved to. That's 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 going contrary against God laws because the Bible say thou should not kill, thou should not commit adultery. But this verse say we doing all of the above. Yep. Then after we do all of the above, blood touches blood. That's man, I gotta go get this Negro. Man, he just slept with my wife. Man, I don't know. I can't let this one go. He gotta die for this. We got to get away from that. We got to come back to God's laws and live how we supposed to live. You understand that, Sis Doris? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.